Well, if it's your first day on a university campus, you might want a bit of an orientation on learning where the bathrooms are, learning where to get your textbooks, and trying to meet some other students. Well, for students at Oregon State University, they'll soon be exposed to a mandatory course to ingrain themselves in the Oregon State culture. That course is not just about where those washrooms are, like I was saying earlier, but a mandatory social justice course. Yes, the administrators at Oregon State are currently in the process of putting together a module, a five-part program. It'll be an online course that all freshmen will have to undergo to understand social justice issues, regardless of whether they're there for, you know, science, technology, or peace and conflict studies. They're all going to have to go through the same program. Now, it's important to note that Oregon State University is not the first school to enter into this area of political correctness. University of Massachusetts Amherst has a very similar program, except their students actually have to take two social justice courses because, you know, sometimes just one isn't enough. But at Oregon State, a school that has a so-called bias response team on site, which is, believe it or not, a team of faculty members, volunteers, staff leaders there to intervene in the case of a bias or harassment incident, now is developing the social justice program. Now, according to documents that the school has put out about this, which were really reported on first by College Fix, they've explained what it is they're trying to accomplish through this. The program is intended to provide all students entering Oregon State University an orientation to concepts of diversity, inclusion, and social justice to help empower all OSU students to contribute to an inclusive university community." Unquote. Now, what they're actually doing in the program is looking at some of the major tenets of it. So if you look at the documents here, you see what some of those breakdowns are. Things like diversity, things like an inclusive and equitable university community, and so on and so forth. And also how to identify bias incidents. This is obviously a big key component of what Oregon State is already doing. Now, the reason I'm sharing this with you is not because everyone, I think, is really affected by what's happening in Oregon State University, but because what's happening there is not unique to Oregon State. What's happening there is part of a trend we're seeing all over the place, and oftentimes social justice warriors are fighting against the so-called establishment. In this case, social justice warriors are the establishment. And that's a reality at a lot of university and campuses right now. So let's take a step back and wonder, what is it they're actually arguing for? We've seen time and time again what happens when social justice becomes the flavor du jour in academia. We see student groups censored. We see certain clubs that are unable to assemble. We see speech police. All of these things are part and parcel of what comes when you make social justice the priority. Now, according to a school spokesperson that spoke to College Fix, they're saying that censorship is not going to be what comes of this. This is the quote from this university spokesperson. The goal of our bias incident response isn't to stop or prevent anyone from exercising their right to engage in free speech within social media channels or elsewhere. Instead, we seek to educate community members about the harmful impacts of bias incidents and to provide care and support to community members who may be hurt or negatively affected. It's not about avoiding conversations or difficult ideas, but promoting and creating a safe and inclusive community where everyone has the ability to fully participate in these conversations. Well, you know, the great thing about free speech is that everyone does have the ability to participate in conversations. You don't need to get in there and, and legislate this and start teaching about oppression studies. This is one of the components of this. Or also looking at the campus administrators that are going to respond if they feel bias has taken place. Now, this is brutal because students suffer in the long run, but freedom suffers overall. For the Rebel.media, I'm Andrew Lawton. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.